Hello? Yes? Yes, Fatungu speaking. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I, don't, I don't get you. Where did this happen? Where you're going, man? Are you out of your mind? Yes. All right, I'm on my way. Strong, I'm smart, I'm better than the best. Well, better than I was. Adi, I'm off to work. Why can't you microwave? You better start off the car. Have a lovely. She's left. What? Just a few minutes ago. What do you mean she has left? I was supposed to see her before she leaves. And it took you forever to get here. Who did she go with? Some friends. They came to pick her up. You don't know who she left with? Give me a break, Theodore. Listen, I, you don't expect me to know everybody my daughter goes out with. She's also my daughter in case you've forgotten. And we're supposed to be responsible for her safety at all times. Look who's talking. Thank God you're here, sir. We got the first report this morning at 6, 19 a.m. And the first responder came at 7, 10. One hour? Not more than an hour, sir. 50 minutes. You called all of the hotel where you can get me the hotel manager. We've already done that, sir. Our team are in the room gathering evidence. I hope they've not touched anything. No, sir. I don't think so. I think
I'm Detective Theodore Fier. I'm sorry for your loss. It appears you guys are very close. And so, so I presume you're her elder brother. So, how many are you in your family? It was just the both of us. Parents? Dad is dead. So when was the last time you saw your sister? Um, this morning? Yesterday morning. And she didn't tell you she was traveling? No, she did not. I was the one that called her. Just please and trees. And I wasn't know how she was doing, if she was okay. So she doesn't stay with you? Yes, she, uh, she, she, she stays in school. And uh, at least still my mom. So that means you know her hostel and friends? Yes, but it's, it's not really a hostel. It's, it was an apartment she shared with her friends. That means you do not know who she came to visit? No, not at all. At this point, I'm a little confused because... Anne and I used to come to this city to come visit our uncle Chris. But he has long traveled with his family abroad. And I... might want to take that. I think you should. Mama.
I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not strong enough for this. I'm not supposed to be here. My mom needs me. Just take it easy, right? I'd like to see your visitor's log. Which one of them, sir? How many do you keep? And also a list of all the guests the lodge share and those who have checked out. Um, these are forms of persons lodged here. And for those who have checked out? Um, it's here, sir. It's on a different file. And what happened to that file? But nobody has checked out today, sir. Can I have the file? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And who is the guest in 305? Mr. Samson Sewa. Sewa. Tell him I'd like to see him. Hello, sir. This is the reception, sir. Okay, sir. Um, the, the police would like to speak with you, sir. Okay, sir. In his room. Sir? Tell him I'm coming to his room. Uh, uh sir, <laughs> yeah, he said he's coming to see you in the room, sir. And give me a comprehensive list of all the file I asked for and tell your manager I'd like to speak with him. Yeah, okay, sir. Samson in Sewa. No, no, no. In Sia. Samson in Sia. Then I call Sua. Eh, hotel phone and almost just a VIO key. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> <You're> very sure. <laughs> One minute. My wife. I see. And your Ghanaians? Yes, we are visiting Nigeria for the first time. What a pleasant visit. I knocked on the door earlier. There was no response. Really? We didn't hear anyone knock. I mean, we must have been bad things, so... Hmm. You don't look to me like someone who was bathing. I mean, I was about to do that before you just came in. Oh. Would you say the reason why you didn't answer the door was because you were bathing? Yes. No. I mean... I didn't hear any knock. So did you hear about the murder in room 304? Murder? Yes, yes, yes. But tell me, was she really murdered? That's what I intend to find out from you. Hey, Masa, from me saying, I mean, how come? I'm not saying you murdered her, but it's not as if you couldn't. But I just thinking that there might be something in your mind. Oh, because, yeah. I don't know what I said, but I don't know what I said. 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 I
minute. I I have other engagements to attend to. Me, I don't know the girl. I don't know anything about your mother. I see. But one last question. How did you hear about the murder? The room service called me to inform me. Which one? <laughs> Which room service? <laughs> you are asking me? How am I supposed to know? Just a Guinean couple that are in town for holiday. I don't know. There's still things are a bit still fishy. But um, let's see. Just hold on to him and um, see what comes out of it. We should still keep an eye on him. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Wait. You see that? Yeah. First thing I noticed. I'll get right on it. What is the medical examiner's preliminary report? Uh, well, blunt force trauma to the head. It wasn't noticeable because the swelling was minimal at first. And um, he says that time of death was between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. because uh, rigomosis was just setting in when he was examining her. But then again, that's all just speculation. Uh, we'll know for sure when the autopsy reports are out. Good. Well, we need a full toxicology report. Yeah, he knows that. Babe, exhausted doesn't begin to describe me right now. Kai, how far? It's low back. Hello? Like I know where two of you wandered up to. I should be asking you. Vicky, now what for you? I asked a simple question. Ah. Oh. They try a number, I know they go, Sha. I'm not trying to get it. Maybe her battery went off or something. Abby? I hope so. But she's supposed to. She's supposed to what? Um, where she went, they've got constant electricity or something like that, so I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. I hope so. <laughs> Vicky, you know what happened to me this afternoon? <laughs> I entered Cabo from GRE. Dozed off. You know where I find myself? Where? <laughs> oh, we road. Why? I woke up in another world, babe. The <laughs> <laughs> way I raced out of the car, I picked her around and started coming back home. It was like, film. Yeah. You're lucky they didn't just bundle you or carry you inside one bush and go and kill you there. <laughs> I swear, it will be for me today. I just judge you because I'm so tired. Like, yeah. Anyway, imagine. thank God. Though. What happened? There's this broadcast message I got this morning. About some girl found dead in the hotel room. Ah, ah, dead, Ke. Yeah, I never checked my pins. I really haven't checked my pins yet. Oh, wow. And you sent it to me this morning. Mm. I haven't really checked it out, Sha. But the thing that got me about it is the fact that she's a student. Although her school, they didn't mention her school, mm. and her identity is undisclosed. Who sent them to you? 
uh, one of my friends. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Albert, a friend of mine. Um, the management discovered the body this morning. The hotel is Prime Suites. Prime Suites. Vicky, are you sure? Shit! Shit! Wait a You're scaring me now! Abby, you know somebody there. Ah, uh Vicky. -uh. How are for you? It's nothing like that. I just remembered something. And oh. come to think of it, I actually forgot something. Are you gone? Wait, stop. Run that back again. Officer, I don't think it is recorded. What do you mean you don't think it's recorded? I mean, yesterday's night events isn't recorded on this machine. Are you trying to tell me your cameras don't work 24 hours? They do. I'm just surprised it didn't record. I mean, I wasn't on duty last night. The person that was on duty should know about it. I have nothing to do with this. Fine. Give me a name and number. Um, Jibril Akande. I don't have his number. Okay, I'll go find it. Sweets for two years now. Almost two and a half years, yes. Before Prime Sweets, where did you work? Greenfield Pastors. And what was your position? What position? What was your position at Greenfields? Oh, oh, yeah, I was the floor manager. How long were you with them? Six years. I was there for six years. Six years. And why did you leave? Uh, some incident. Something, something happened. It's a, a, a mistake, you know, an omission that the management was not quite happy about, so I had to leave. Mr. GD, you seem to have forgotten so soon. But it's on record that one of your staff disappeared with a trailer load of pasta. You couldn't account for it, and the management found out and laid you off. No, oh, Mr. Jide. That doesn't speak well of how you manage staff under you. That was a mistake, and the management knows it. They can attest to the fact that I did a great job managing the floor at the time. Well, I'm sure I can testify, same. By the time I'm done with the murder at Prime Suites. The hotel, you've managed for two and a half years now. So, Mr. Jade, you might want to um, utilize this time to really um, clear how well you know your staff. Tell me now, what do you know about the murder? I don't know much. And that's because I close at 6 p.m. and open at 7 a.m. every day. I learned the lady checked in yesterday evening. And by the time I resumed work this morning, they told me she was, she was found dead in a hotel room. And that's when I called the police to report. You say they informed you. Who are they? The staff at the hotel. And who discovered the body? Etim Edem, one of our service staff. Etim is the only room service staff in that unit. 
No, but he was the person in charge of that section for that evening. And so he should know everything that happens at that section? Well, since he was in charge of that section, yes, he ought to know everything. So he also informed you, didn't he? Uh, no, 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 no. It was the receptionist who told me, but um, Etim took me to the scene. So what exactly did she say happened? Well, she called me this morning when I was on my way to work and told me that something had happened at the hotel. Seems that's all he knows, and uh, that's all I know too. Now, personally, besides Etim, do you know any other member of your staff who might have a hand in this murder? No. Um, no, no one is capable of such, to the best of my knowledge, anyway. Mr. Jude, you might want to think carefully about your answers. Because this was the same satisfactory pass you gave of one of your staff a few days before he absconded with a trailer load of pasta. So, Mr. DJ, I would advise you go through the list of your staff and I'll be back. And um, I learned Etim just joined your company a few months ago. Oh, yes, yes, he joined in October. Hmm. So, did you interview him and cross-examine his referee? Yes, I did, but not for all those who had been working before I joined the company. Yeah, and this receptionist, how long has she been working with you? She's been with us for four years now. So, Mr. GDA, um, I'd like to have a comprehensive list of all of your staff that were on duty that day. And every information about them, the addresses, the referees, Everything you think you can, of course, it'll be helpful. Now tell me, what happened to Miss Florence and Bush? I, I, I don't know. A team, room service, came to tell me that he found a lady lying lifeless in the room. I followed him. And when I saw it, I immediately called the manager to inform him, sir. Don't tell me that is all that happened. She didn't receive any visitors. She didn't call reception. She, 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 she didn't receive any visitors, sir. And she didn't call me when she checked in, sir. When did she check in and who did she come with? Uh, I don't know if she came in with anybody. The lobby was quite busy yesterday. And... I was attending to some other clients when she came over. Hi, how may I help you? Sorry, sister name. I have a booking for three or four. Oh, okay, hold. All right. Um. You're Miss Florence Ugo? Mm -hmm. Okay. May I have your ID, please? Sure. Okay. 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 There you are. Thank you. Just one minute. You're welcome to Prime Seat. Your room is on the first floor by the right. All right. Have a lovely stay. Thank you. Thank you. Last time I saw her, till this morning, sir. Which means the room was booked for her before she came in? Yes, sir. It was booked online two days before she came in. Online? That means payment was made online in that regard? No. One can pay online on our portal. But in her case, Cash payment was paid in a bank with proof of payment sent online, sir.
And? And when we confirm it from our own bank, the room is reserved, sir. Who manages this online portal? Hey, I don't know. But manager does. How long have you been with Prime Suites? Um, this is my fifth year, sir. How long has the online portal been running? Um, it, it, it's been on for one year, sir. And yet you claim you don't know who manages the service? Yeah, yes, sir. I only attended the training that was conducted in our company. That was the last time I saw those guys. But the manager should be in touch with them since he was the one that introduced the, the agency to the company, sir. Tell me, which other member of staff came in contact with Florence Ugo? Well, I, I don't know if any other person met with her. But Etienne was the one in charge of that section. So I should think he met her in course of his duties, sir. Now, Tim, everyone has testified that you're the only person that knows what happened to Florence Ungu. I'm not going to ask you too many questions or torture you to get the information I need. Tell me, what happened to her? Officer, I don't know anything about that woman. No. It was only this morning I saw her door was open small. You told me what happened this morning, and you mean you didn't go to her room yesterday? I did, sir. But I only served her food and nothing more. Who ordered the food? I don't know. The kitchen called and said there was delivery for 3 or 4, so I delivered. But someone was in the room with her when I came in. Really? Who was the person? I don't know, sir. I didn't see her, his face. What are you talking about, Etim? I mean, sir, the person was in the toilet when I came in and he was talking to her from the toilet. It's open. Why do you guys waste so much time here? I mean, I ordered that food over an hour ago. Um, I'm so sorry, ma'am. The kitchen has been very busy. Okay. The food is here, but it's just one plate. Do I make another order for you? No, I'm fine. Thank you. And that's it? You didn't see the person that... After that, they'll leave in the room any other time? Not at that time, sir. Except earlier in the evening when I saw her at the lounge. At the lounge? What are you talking about, SMC? If you do not tell me what happened to this girl, I might be forced to get it out of you. That's all I know, sir. In her room and in the lounge, that was the two places I saw her. What happened at the lounge? Nothing, sir. She was just sitting down there with one man who is our customer not in the room. And this man is lodging your hotel right now. Yes, sir. He came in from Ghana. And he wears glasses. Something is over. You're sure of whom you saw? Yes, sir. He's in room 305 with his wife. I also serve his bedroom. Any other thing about this man? He doesn't talk all the time. The bureaus have been to their room. It's the wife who talks to me and also places the order. And the wife? Have you seen her anywhere else around the hotel or around room 304? No, sir. With that woman really comes outside. Sir. 
any news from the police yet? I haven't heard anything, Mom. But you've been speaking with them. Don't worry yourself, okay? Let's allow the police do their work. But there should be something. Oh. Don't worry, don't worry, okay? If anything comes up, I'm sure they'll get across to me. Auntie's here with food. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Delicious. Nah. Oh, look. The food is ready. Eh? Hey. 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 Get that can since you're done. Um, well, it's not been easy, I must say, you know, and we've got no leads right now in particular. And it's getting quite challenging, seeing that no one knows what she came to Lagos to do. Yeah, well, no, not to worry, you know, the police are on it and we'll definitely get to the root of the matter. And I'll let you know if any useful information comes up, if anything comes up. Yeah, so take care of your mother. Bye now. Yes, and I'd like to see Mr. Something in someone in room 305. Ah, he just checked out not too long ago. Uh, but I bet they might still be in the car park as we made arrangement for the taxi to take them to the airport. But where is your service parking lot? It's right. Okay, the thank you. Checking out so soon? Why is there anything in particular? Because we are late for our flight. You might have to defer. We we'll need your husband at the station. Me? For what? I'd rather these questions are answered back at the station in St. Sarah. And we'd like for your wife to come as well. Yes, Mr. Insia. Sweetheart. No, it'll be a bill. Be. I'll sort it out. Come along with us. Me? What for? What happened to our bags? They'll be taken care of. Please. I don't need to tell you that lying to the police or bearing false evidence is a very big crime. Because I know it's applicable in your country. You have deceived the police. So from here, anything you say or do might be used against you in the court of law. So you might want to think about your answers carefully. Now I ask, do you know Miss Florence Ungu, the girl who was murdered a few rooms away from yours? I don't know anything about her death. I only met her at the hotel lounge yesterday. It was only that one time. Why did you lie to me? My wife. She will leave me if she finds out I spoke to another lady. You know, we came to Nigeria to reconcile our differences. We've had troubles in our marriage for quite a while. And our pastor just suggested this conference so that we can rediscover ourselves again. I guess if she found out that I looked at another woman, how much more talk to her, she would leave me. That's why I lied. I see. But that notwithstanding, Chinali, you not only talked to the girl, but you also murdered her when she threatened to tell your wife that you and her were... No! I, 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 I only offered her a drink. Besides, why, why would I want to murder her? She didn't even know I was married. Or perhaps your wife did when she found out you were cheating on her. My wife will never do such a thing. A woman who will leave you for merely looking at another is jealous and capable of doing anything to protect her man. Look, if there's anyone to be blamed in this situation, I'm the one. Please. 
leave my wife out of this. I talk to the lady, not my wife. So tell me, what really happened at that lounge? What did you talk to her about? We, we didn't really talk much. She seemed not to have my time. you occupy all these things by yourself and I was wondering if you know I could keep you company. No, I'm sorry, I'm actually expecting someone. Oh, okay. That's not a problem, you know. Um, perhaps I can be your little company before the person gets here, you know. Mm, no, I, I don't think that's gonna happen. He's gonna get in any minute and I don't want to miss him. Oh. Ah. A blind date with Mr. Wright. <laughs> you know, at the moment, um, I could pass for Mr. Wright. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. The person that I'm expecting oh? isn't quite you. I'm sorry. Oh, easy. I was just kidding, trying to make conversation. <laughs> but can I buy you a glass of wine at least? I mean, it's just one. Yeah? Waiter! Are you sure that is all that happened? Because that still puts you in the middle of a crime. That's all I can remember and that's all that happened. I never saw her after yesterday evening. I never saw her again. And the visitor she was expecting never showed up? No, not while I was there. I mean, from our discussion, it was clear that she was meeting this person for the first time. And probably the guy didn't show up. Or maybe it was you in the bathroom when the room service delivered the food that evening. I never visited her room. We only had a discussion at the lounge and I walked away. I see you're an angry man, Mr. and so on. But I'm afraid I'd have to keep you in custody and you would not be leaving this country anytime soon if you do not give me something to work with. Give you something to work with? Look, you're the police. You're supposed to use your intelligence to source for information. But based on your last statement, you're the last person seen with her before the crime. That makes you a potential suspect to murder. So. I would have to keep you in custody until investigations are concluded. Uh, Epemi. Uh, I remember one Epemi. She was on the phone with her. She'll probably know who she came to see at the hotel. Who oh, down now, babe? Can you know the first I'll inform when I see him? Yeah? No, it pay me Yusuf. <laughs> I'll let you know when something happens. Yonko, when are you going back? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you later. Okay then, bye. Sure, you're not making this up. No, no. But you see, I, I had to really think about it. it. It really happened. Yes. But I'm afraid I would have to keep your passport and your wife's as well. You would not be allowed to leave the country until investigations are concluded. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Mrs. Um I'm Mrs. Sophia Insia. 
Right. Can you tell me again what you and your husband are doing in Nigeria? We came for marriage retreat. It started day before yesterday and finished this morning. Marriage retreat. Hmm. How long have you been married to Mr. Samson? We've been married for almost a year now. Can you tell me what kind of man he is? He's a very wonderful man. Caring, lovely, humble, above all, very passionate. Mm. And um, there hasn't been problems with your marriage? See, I don't want to say this, okay? But every family has got its own problem. And we sure are going through ours at the moment. Fine. I'm sure you are aware of the murder at Prime Suits. Yeah, we did her this morning. And the girl in question, do you know her? I've never seen her before. Or your husband has. Yes, in fact, they had a chat last evening at the hotel lounge. Are you not aware of this? Look here, young lady, the only reason why you folk are here is because we believe your husband knows exactly what happened to her. Because he was the last person that was seen with her before she was murdered. My husband is not a murderer and can never do such. I was with him since yesterday evening till now. So what are you talking about? Ma'am, we're not saying your husband killed her. Exactly. What we want to know is what you know about your husband and what your husband knows about her. So come clean with me. He wasn't with you the whole evening, was he? See, my husband and I are having issues for quite some time now. That's why we're here for the marriage retreat. I know my husband likes women a lot, and I've threatened to leave him if he continues. He might have met the girl and spoken to her, but he can never hurt a fly. But you, on the other hand, you're a bold and strong woman. And I dare say me. I bet you could hurt a fly. Hey, hello. How are you holding up? And your mother? It may take a while, but she's coping in bits. You mentioned earlier that uh, about your sister's friends. Do you know any of them who goes by the name Ipemi? Yes, Ipemi. She's one of my sister's flatmates. Oh, really? And they still stay together in the same place? Yes, sir. So, is there anything wrong with Ipemi? Uh, no, nothing really. It's just that her name came up during our investigation. So, we feel she might know who she came to um, meet with. Oh. Hey, it's nothing for you to worry about. Just be calm and let us do our job. And I'll promise you we'll just we'll get to the root of all of these. Meanwhile, um, we'll be touching base at your place tomorrow. So just be there to receive us and please do not contact her until we get there. I don't want anyone to know where you're coming. Okay, sir. Bye. We're making progress. Really? Yeah, I mean, autopsy results aren't in, obviously, um, but we do know it's a murder. And we also know she was at the hotel to see someone in that hotel, and she checked in, and the person made sure that he wasn't registered and that he or she wasn't seen. So, what that tells us is uh, whoever it is had it premeditated. It must be someone. Who knows her personally? Yeah, probably a friend. 
Now for um, a week on the CCTV intel. Yeah, I'm still following leads on that one. Made a couple of calls. The guy who was on duty that night is AWOL. We busted his apartment a couple of times with nothing. But I have ears on him, and by God, we will find him. Yeah. Hey, Ted, have you... Have you been all right? Are you okay? Because you seem kind of distant, a little. Wished you could do things differently I mean, make, make the right choices with the right people. Yeah. How's your daughter? What? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> I've got to go have a, <laughs> a meeting with the devil. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, so I'll see you later. Yes. Yeah. Okay. See you tomorrow. Is he there now? All right, I'm on my way. Tonight in any few day, cook beat on the beat. She say that she like me. Ooh, yeah. I say that I like her. She say that she like me. She does not know my charisma. So I say, baby, girl, yeah, please be my. I say, I'm like me. See me looking at you precisely. You got me wondering what to do, you're behind me. Now I see you something like magic. Guys, you got me feeling like a bandit. Eyes up, shine, did you have your ID? Test up, fresh for you, don't they me? Make I tell you something, you know they try me I, I'ma take it down so low I love the way you go You're like a mini mini man emo I'm on me and you so low I know that you want it I know what you really really want from me I'm feeling you, I hope you feel me to my way Let's go, 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 let's go
You're here again. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Late? I stopped caring a long time ago, Theodore. We're not married. Can we at least not talk about this now? Have you heard from her? Yes. And is anything the matter? For starters, can I come in? And do you intend to stay that long? So? Your daughter is fine. Is there any other reason for this stopover? Ada, I saw a very horrible sight at work today and it really got me thinking. About? Anyway, she's turning 16 and going to the university this year. Exactly, Mike, that's the point. We really need to talk about her staying in school. Theodore, why the urgent hurry? The crime rates in school these days are alarming. So letting her stay alone on campus is... Please, please! Don't start with that. She's not the first or the last person to gain admission at the university. When she gets there, she will cope with the rest of them. So who are the friends she left with this morning? And why would you want to know that? So at least I can keep up with them, seeing she's not familiar with the city. <laughs> and maybe round them up together in case something happens to her? I never said that. Theodore, it's getting late. And you need the rest. You look walked up. Good night. Sorry, sis. Uh, no. We need to talk about this. Adi, what in God's name were you doing at the club? I was hanging out with a friend. Wani Wali. Wali. Wanti ambanza yaru di nache karika yao di shi. Kana bani yao shifa? Wali ba banza yaru ba. You actually think every guy is shady. I'm sure if I was not your brother, you would actually thought the same about me. That is not funny. I know. Adi, look. Club Ning. The store are booking car. Bahalin Kabani. Can I do it? See, the, the club thing was just a one off. You know that guy is good. Kainana Chiki A. To me, King and Nebby kicking chase and Matazuchiana. Haba. Be careful, you. Can I join a hole? So, who was the guy you were on at the club? Oh. Just some guy from a crime scene. He's a possible lead in the murder I'm investigating at Prime Suites. Prime Suites? Did she die? How do you know about that? Wait a minute, how do you even know it's a girl? I, I just heard. From where? 
Wale. I heard Wale talking about it. Wale again? And how did he find out about it? He said it was on the internet. So, what have happened to her? Never mind, I don't want to talk about it. You should get some rest, it's been a long day. Besides, I'm tired. Okay, good night. This is Agent Ted. He's from the Police Investigation Department. Oh, you're welcome, sir. How are you doing? Uh, very well. And you are? Victoria. Victoria? Have you met before? Yes, of course. She's one of my sister's flatmates. What an apartment you ladies have got here. So, how many of you are staying here? Um, just the three of us, sir. Which three? Musketeers? <laughs> no, sir. Just Ikpemi, Florence and I. And um, Ikpemi is still in bed? Uh, no, sir. She's not around at the moment. She left quite early. That must have been very urgent. Uh, no, sir. She went out since yesterday. She's not back yet. And she didn't tell you where she was going to? Not really. She was quite in a hurry. Uh-uh. Babes! What's up with the bags now? You just got here. Uh, want to know. Uh, I don't tell you to forget something. Yes, you did. But what's up with the bags? You look like you're off on another trip or something. Uh huh. Now the thing where they tie me for your matter be this. That's enough you come out again. I beg you. And you have.
haven't heard from her. Where are your rooms? O over there. And Florence, when was the last time you spoke with her? That was the day before yesterday, uh, when she left. And she didn't say where she was going to? No, sir. She doesn't really... We don't talk that much. Well, except on personal, on personal issues. Except normal girl gist. And during the course of that um, normal girl gist, she, she didn't mention at any point where she was going to? Not at all, sir. But she's closer to Ikpemi, so she should know where she went. She only said that she was going to see a friend and that she'll be back the next day. Hmm. This product is working on my face, so... It seems to be glowing. I like say it in my mind, means of idea the wonder. Wonder what? Babe, the makeup never do. I mean, one when the guys see you making theories. <laughs> I know, dear. <laughs> Can you imagine? Mm. But if that sort of thing were to happen, the baby in question would just die of embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Yes, now. Nah. And we just can't make up what they do for the past one hour. So don't hear they do make up. That baby will be you. She will take care. Get out. Get out, her baby. <laughs> now, so Charlie take Bamus when you go meet her. <laughs> if I hear. Uh -huh. Oh, well. But. I'm mm. serious, mm. Leave her the goods before this work out. Which kind of levels now? My heart skips when I think of it. But I know more thing now. Why do you want to go cut you? Have you don't see the guy before? No, I haven't. Eh, hey, now, no, no more thing. You were supposed to cut you now, babe. Chillax. You think? Just me. Mm-hmm. I don't want to know the way so just calm down. It's just uh, sharp, sharp. Yeah, it's yeah, see, just the easy for your mouth, eh? <laughs> don't do this kind of thing, sir. Eh? <laughs> Babes, what's up? Flo, where did they go? I'm going to see a friend. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In town? I ain't seen a time for this flat to be this soon. Uh, Florence, you know, tell me so you don't get school mother for university. I don't remember directing any questions at you so far. Well, what's your headache today now? Mm. When do you become the school mother? Have a safe trip, Joe. Thank you, darling. And please, take her with you. <laughs> oh. And you haven't heard from her since then? No, sir. No one has called to inquire about her? No, sir. Victoria. You are aware that Florence, your flatmate, is dead, right? What? How? What happened? She was murdered in a hotel in Lagos. Hotel? What hotel? Prime Suites. Wait. <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know something about it, don't you? Let me does. What does Zikbemi know about it? Yesterday morning, I received a BC on my phone about a girl that died in a hotel room and she came in.
Can you call her on the phone? Please. Can I have a number? No response. Where's Florence's room? Over there. Please leave. with that. Come on, I give her the laptop. friends on Facebook? Yes, sir. And yet you claim you don't know where she went to. Meanwhile, she updated it on her profile. I can't say, sir. Well, of course, what we girls update on our social networks isn't exactly what we're doing, so... So, so what did she update? You're not friends on Facebook? No. She she wouldn't add me. Florence has always wanted to keep me out of her private life. I had no choice. I think I know who she went to meet with. He invited her over. I know this guy. How? Where? I bumped into him at the airport. He, he was talking to someone on the phone and... Look where you're going, man. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, I'm sure he's meeting with his next victim. You have a Ted here. Suspect has been identified. So get every man out there on the field looking for him. Yeah, I'll be out with the next flight. I'll push your um, photo and intel to you right now. Ikpemi, once Ikpemi gets back, let me know. I want to be the first to speak with her. That's my part. I hope I can take this along. Please, anything you need. Alright. Thank you.
face. Don't even switch. You want to tell me why you're running from the police? No, nothing. Nothing. So you also stay away from work without report? No, I didn't. See, I took time off. You took some time off? Well, you're not at work and you don't plan on going in. Why? I wasn't... See, I wasn't feeling well. You weren't feeling well? Look, did you realize that there's a dead girl in that hotel and your cameras don't have a record of what happened that night? Look, I know what it looks like. But believe me, I have nothing to do with it. Believe me, I have nothing to do with it. Oh, really? So tell me why you're staying away from work and running from the police. That wasn't why I was running. See, the cameras, they weren't working. What? What do you mean the cameras weren't working? The CCTV circuit terminal spoiled two nights ago. And I had to come in that same evening to fix it. It only started working yesterday. And that was when I took my leave off. So if that's what happened, why are you running? Um, I was, I was just hanging out with the boys in the hood. Hanging out with the boys in the hood? Really? Put your hands up, turn around. Huh? Now, turn around! There's nothing in my pocket. Just shut up! What is this? Hey. Hey, what's a surprise visit? Ikemi, for heaven's sake, tell me what happened to my sister. You could not see me. Oh. I've not seen your sister in two days now. She did not mention where she was going to. If anybody knows of her intentions, it must be you. So please tell me who she went to see in Lagos before I get angry with you. In fact, which can I see with this now? Eh? If there's anything you want to tell me, tell me now. Me, I don't know anything no. Uh -uh. So you pretend not knowing that. My sister, your friend is dead and that the police are asking after you. Police? Have I don't know anything about her death, so people should not even involve me. Uh -uh.
You've not changed your escape route. But if not be here, and you know, leave this level off, don't jab, don't go. They go still up there, go cack, I go wah, I go, I go. How come you're not in a hurry anymore? Chama, you know, nah. We get there, because we hold this one like this, ah. We hold this one like this, eh. We get. This is the biggie. Oh, but do, you know I don't do laptop. Shut up, I need to get some important information from that system. I need you to log on to someone's social account page and get me his info. Social account page? But it's hard logging into your account page, and you know that now. It's very hard. That's him. I need you to get, I need to get his recent activities. I'm only run over. But this is a year boy now. The guy has some shit. The guy said. I said. Sorry. Hey, Doctor. Yeah, hi. Really? Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. We'll get on it right away. Um, Chief, anything come up? Yeah. Well, that was a medical examiner. Just gave me the autopsy report of the um, victim. Says he, think, he thinks it will help this investigation. What is it? Yeah. Because um, he just confirmed that they found a substantial amount of alcohol in the victim's system. Okay, but that doesn't exactly help us much. Yes, it does. Because if she was high on alcohol, then there would have been traces, you know, like bottles in the room. But if I remember that murder scene very well, there was no bottle. There was no bottle. There wasn't a bottle in that room, which means someone must have taken it out. And thereby making the room service department accountable for what happened. Well, either them or whoever killed her. But what bits me is, why would someone take just a bottle out of the room and leave the scene like that? We need to get back to that hotel now. Yeah. So, but any luck? But oh, this guy's a bastard. Like, every email account associated to this profile is no more. He took them out. Trust me, I can get to it. But oh, trust me. You, I don't know where in uh, I mean, uh, So if you get anything, just let me know. One time. But no! How He's on his way. Manager, you're sure you can attest for your staff? Because if anyone is found wanting, I will not take it lightly with you. Officer, I employed most of this staff and I've told you everything I know about them. Not that I know what they're capable of, but considering the circumstances, I'm shocked if any of them is found wanting. And I told you to send me their details? But that's what I'm working on. You have them by the close of business today. Yes. 
Now look here, young man, and do not lie to me. If you don't want me to lock you in jail for a very long time, now tell me exactly what you served room 304 on the day in question. Okay, it's the truth I'm telling you. I only served what the kitchen gave me, that's all. And you do not remember serving her any alcohol at all? Alcohol? No, sir, no alcohol. So on the day you served her, did you notice any other person in the room? Ah, oh God. I told you I, I can't remember, but I think there was. Listen, the reason why we are asking you this question is because the doctor called and confirmed that her blood was saturated with alcohol that was drugged and we're 100% sure it was served in that room. Now, if you don't start telling us what we need to know, we might be forced to take you with us. Now, did you serve her alcohol? Answer him! Answer her! Oh my God, to God Almighty, I didn't serve her alcohol. Except Frank did. Who is Frank? What are you talking about? Was Frank on duty that day? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Frank was not on duty, but he was around that day. And the way he left in the morning, Mr. I don't just suspect him more. I was supposed to take over from him, but he stayed a while. And then he said he wasn't going anymore until in the morning. So he stayed. So if anyone has said something else, it has to be Frank. Coupled with the way he left in the morning. What did he do? He was in a hurry. He left very early, even before I went for morning rounds and discovered the body. So explain to us exactly why you did not tell this before now. Me, I didn't know to get to this now. Uh, now I won't have to ask me. And there'll be a lot more you remember by the time I take you with me. Now where's this fine guy? How do we reach him? Sorry. He's still on duty. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? He took some days off and then he asked me to fill in his space until he comes back. And nobody told me? I see there's a whole lot of issues you've been misinformed about. Do you know where this Frank lives? Yes, I do. Let me have his address. Outdoors Hall, Icon Road. Your cat head is out. Correct. Eyes on the cat. I'm on my way now. So, Agent, it's an urgent call to duty which I have to attend to now. Make sure you bring Frank back to the station. Got it. And this one? Not for now. I believe you know Miss Florence Ungu. What are you talking about? I guess this is your next victim. Excuse me? What are you talking about? My name is Ted from the Police Investigation Department. Do you know this man? He's my boyfriend. How long have you known him? We just met. I figured. You're wanted at the police station in connection to the murder at Prime Suites. Cuff him. But what's the meaning of this? We'd like for you to come with us as well, young lady. But what's going on here? I wish I knew, my dear. I'm sorry you've got caught up in this um, whole web, but we really have to help the police in this investigation. You said um, Steve Mikey is your boyfriend. His name is not Steve Mikey. 
It's Edmond. Edmond. That's the name he gave to you. You know that's not his real name. He has used Steve on his other victims. So at this point, we really don't know. So how long have you known this guy? We we'll just met him for the first time. Really? Tell me about it. See, so you're safe here. No need to be scared. It was on Facebook, right? When he asked you to come over. I'm kidding. So tell me, how did it happen? We met on Facebook some time ago, and we've been talking since then. He invited me over to see him. I didn't want to go, because I wanted him to come over and see me. But he's always busy, his work won't let him. So I decided to come two days ago and... and he picked you up from the airport and took you straight to the hotel. What's the name of the hotel? He took me to his house. His house? Are you sure? Yes. It's a two-bedroom flat and he stays there alone. Or he took you to the hotel first, then he rejected and took you to his house? I was even the one that suggested the uh, hotel, but he refused. It's my sincere and utmost pleasure to have you. Thank you. It's been like ages? Centuries? Century. Thank you, kitty. Mm. You look finer than what I see in pictures. Oh, uh, don't flatter me, Joe. But it's true now. <laughs> well? I don't have anything to say. Of course, until we get to the house. The house? Which house? My house, of course. I would have preferred a hotel room. Hotel? Why? I feel it's safe. And I wouldn't want your girlfriends to come back home and give me serious injury. <laughs> come on, don't tell me you're serious. Of course I'm not. Ah. <laughs> Serious people in the hotel. Ah. <laughs> ah. So, thank you for the call. Here. Yeah. I have the bird. I have bird. Right now, eh? But where are you going? Eh? Bird has come and I have a lock on that. <laughs> are you insane or high on something? No, this boss, I'm just a little bit excited. I'm on this page right now. Profile page now. Yes, sir. You know me now. Yeah, anything interesting? A lot. A lot. He's in two women and new pictures. And as we speak right now, he's on to another. Yeah, yeah. Anything new? You already know that. We have him in custody. See, so just secure the package and I'll get back to you soon. Right? Hey, I saw you. I think you have the wrong guy. What do you mean? If you have the guy as you claim you do, he won't be updating his profile right now. Yes, that's what I'm saying. As you speak, his profile has been updated. Stay on it. I'll, I'll get back to you soon. Who are you? Who are you? I've told you, sir. My name is Edmond Afulo. Then who is Steve Mikey? I don't know. Open your Facebook page. If someone is using your personal details and pictures to impersonate you on a social network, the person must be your friend. And I must see him before I let you go, or you will be here for a while. Yeah. Good day, sir. This is Victoria. Yes, you said to call you if you pay me, if I hear from you, pay me. 
She just came in now. And she looks terrible. Okay, sir, I will. Now who be that? What was your face? What was your face? I asked who was that. What's your business with whoever I'm talking to? Vicky, you're calling the police on me? So? Why are you afraid of the police? Why are you calling the police on me? Have I done anything wrong? How would I know? I didn't say you've done anything wrong. Ah, have you? You pretty bitch. I always knew it. You were a bitch. That's an accurate description of your very self, really. Yeah. Let me see you call the police. Let me see you call the police. You've been that same house. Shut up! You have been the same house we did. Call what? police. Criminal. Criminal. Yeah, Agent Ted here, double six zero one. Target is in position and might abscond as we speak, so better send your men in now. I'll see you soon. Yeah. If you don't start telling me all I need to know right now, I will rip out your balls and feed it to you. Before taking you to Area 7, and trust me, you will not live to tell the tale. Oh God, beg, please. I don't know so you go kill him. Now the guy will bring it to so make I put him beside the drink with the bar. What guy and what drink are you talking about? I've not even seen it before. It was when he came to the bar to order for some drinks. I need to find us with a red wine. I'm sorry, I'm done for the day, please, huh? Can you just talk to him, please? Oh. Guy, let me have the finest with a red wine. Say, can you at least help me deliver it? Sir, please. I told you, I'm done with my shift for the day, please. I'm sorry, please. What room, sir? 304. I'll be back in a moment. Just this, I mean. One more thing. What is it, sir? I need to add something to the drink. No stuff, please. <sighs> oh, God. Please. I cannot do this. Please. Please. See, see, you don't understand. I've got my babe in the room, man. Eh? And I need to. If I can do the thing now. There is no. Why don't you put it yourself? Ah, uh, Elena. See, she would she be drinking if I put anything inside now. Abba. Please. Please. Okay, okay. Did you do it? Yes, yes, I did it. How? It was when I came to the room with the drink. That was how the guy said I should do it. He said I should go put the bottle, put the drink inside the glass, and put it inside, and she should not notice. Okay. Is he here? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, it's the room service. He's here with the drink. through my phone. It's a lady's phone. Sorry. sorry. Thank you. What happened to the bottle? Who took it? 
get out of the room. Ah, I was so scared, sir. I was scared that if they see the bottle, they will know it's poison and it replicates me. <laughs> See the man that gave you this thing to put in the drink, will you recognize him? Yes, yes. You're certain? Yes, yes, yes. Officer. Sorry. Take this man and we put him in a vehicle. We're stepping out. I think this guy is a swift criminal. Because he never really meet with these girls. He sent someone over and probably suddenly shows face. He can't meet with them. He's impersonating them. Is that clear enough? If he shows up, he'll blow his cover. I think he comes in the guise of the person he claims to send. How do you mean so? I mean, obviously, he can't send someone else that's not himself. How oh, about the point there? All right. So basically what he does is he convinces the ladies that someone else is coming and then shows up in disguise. Mm -hmm. But from here, sir, he's been communicating with her for over a month now. There's been several invites that she turned down and suddenly she agrees to meet with him. And there is no indication as to why she changed her mind and accepted to visit? Uh, I think that conversation probably happened over the phone. Hmm. So you said they've been talking over the phone? Yes, they did. I mean, at a point in time, she requested to... requested that they speak over the phone. Yeah, from here. So if they met on Facebook, there's a huge possibility that they exchange contacts. Obviously. That's possible. That's very possible. This is it. This is it. I nailed it. <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> good one, good one, good one, Bobo, good one. All right, keep working on this, right? We need to pull out anything we can, right? And anything useful, just let me know. Right? Uh, no! <laughs> Aya, a message just dropped in her box right now. Say what? From Grace Adams. Which hotel are they meeting at? I didn't say. It's not here. It's not here. Um. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on a second. I, wait, I, I'm, I'm not sure it's a good idea for you to type anything right now. Because obviously he's on his phone and we're on his page. So if you type anything, he'll know that we're on to him. True. I, just go through their chat history. You'll probably find the hotel. Son of a bitch. He sent out a booking package and an address. <sighs> I know Hampton Drive. It's around the page. Fine, we'll locate the hotel once we're close. Let's go. Nice one, Bobo. Okay. like him, alert us. And you, take charge. We're going in. How may I help you? Our rooms are fully booked. Do we look homeless to you? I don't know. But you were detectives. We'd like to see your guest in 334. No. Please, you have to see a manager first. Really? I want to see the manager. I'm going in. Excuse me, sir. Hello? Excuse me, sir. Aren't you supposed to be calling your manager?
Yeah, I need an ambulance at Southville Guest House, Hampstead Drive, you with you. It's urgent. I have a casualty here. Yeah. So, as I've told you, these are the reasons why we had to conduct the search. It's okay. We really, really need to be sure. Uh, we've got, we had some strange people who came in here harassing our guests without any permission. You see, that is why we have to be very strict on how we let in uh, people into these faculties. Of course, that's uh, understandable. Adi? What are you doing here? <laughs> I came to see someone. Who? Wale again? What are you talking about? You have got to help me. Um, um, what have you done? I didn't mean to do it, honestly. I. I, 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 I me, me! See, see you, you just help me. I need to my Now that's him! That's him! That's him! Put it right there. Unless I blew your head off. stay away from him because I thought Wally was the bad influence that was making him do things but no one could have possibly there's nothing anyone could have possibly done see I too have become overwhelmed by the kind of crimes our youth commit these days I mean it scares me to death see you don't understand this is my brother. He was under my roof. My guidance. I was supposed to be looking out for him. I don't... To even begin to imagine what I was doing that night that was so important. How? How? How did he even begin to imagine all of this and put it together? It is... It is... Oh, what is horrifying. I understand. Just don't put yourself in the state. We all have similar challenges over the ones we guide. Mm. So my daughter left for a wedding today with friends that I have, I have never met. I, I've not heard from her. I don't even know if she's safe. See, 
all we owe them is to be sane so that they can survive it all. They can survive through this. But why him? Why did he have to be him? That was my baby. Why did he have to be him? What did I do to make him comfortable? Oh my God. <laughs> you know, you look nothing like who we set out to ap apprehend. Matter of fact, you could pass for a nerd. What's worse? Do you relate it to one of our own? I must give it to you. You've got some balls. The girl you raped is asthmatic and may not survive because she was gasping for breath from the pillow you were suffocating her with. Florence Ungu, the girl you murdered at Prime Sweets, is the only female child of her family. Her mother has a heart condition and has not recovered from the shock. You're in your third year in the university. But you've already started tormenting people via social networks. You know, a lot of young lads like yourself, a lot of people make amazing friends from there. But you and your friends have chosen to torment people via this medium. You must have really enjoyed it while it lasted. But as you can see, she really can't run anymore. Not even with your fake identity and personality. Now, not so long ago, some young lads raped a young lady and posted the act online. And I can sit from this end of the table and discern that you were part of that. I swear I do not know anything about that. And you expect me to believe that? Oh, please, you have got to believe me. I don't have a hand in that. Then the ones you had a hand in, did you eventually kill them when you were done? It was an accident. She wasn't meant to die. I've never killed anyone before. Which was an accident? Florence. Oh, you remember her name. I bet you she must have been very excited and happy that she was coming to meet a true friend. You had everything all planned out booked the room online, sent her details, the address to the place, snuck up to her room at an odd hour, violently raped and killed her like you did tonight. I'm telling you the truth. It wasn't intentional. We had a small struggle then. She slumped in bed. I planned to kill her. Honestly, I didn't. But I wonder, how did you make it into her room? Because I knew she wasn't expecting you. You snuck into her room, did all you did, and got out without being noticed by the hotel management? Or did you have an accomplice at a hotel? No one at the hotel was an accomplice. One of the room attendants almost caught me. But I, I hid in the toilet. And yes, she wasn't expecting me. So I called her and told her my cousin was coming to keep her company. Then I showed up as a cousin. Why invite them with a false identity then violently rape and perhaps accidentally kill them, like you said? I, I have, I've never had a fair chance with, with the ladies. 
my friends would always mock me about not having the right chick to go out with. All the girls I liked turned me down and it hurt so bad. It hurt. No one would accept my, my request on Facebook. The ones that did, they didn't want to go out with me. So I, I, I devised the means. I, I first opened a female profile. And of course that got me a lot of male requests. I sought after the ones that were really cute and opened other profiles with them. Then the ladies started sending in their requests. And, and that's how you started your escapades. I'm sure you must have used the drugs in them. What was the name of this drug? It's called Rofenol. It makes them unconscious. They wouldn't remember anything that happened when they wake up. And how did you get this drug? Uh, a student doctor makes, makes them available. And I bet you're not the only one who uses this drug. Now you will get me the names and addresses of the student doctors and your accomplices. Is that clear? You're going away for a very long time, son. You'll be lucky to make it out alive. Hello, baby girl. How's my little princess doing? Okay, how is my little big girl doing? <laughs> Um, I know I've not quite been I've not quite been the father that you needed, but um, I am working at it. It'll get better. That's unacceptable. Do you know what I suggest? Once you get back, I'll come pick you up and take you to somewhere really special. It'll be fun. <laughs> You'll love it. Okay then, I'll see you. <laughs> yeah. There's a time for everything. And everything on earth has a special season. There's a time to be born and a time to die. Just two weeks since Florence passed on, her memories will linger with her family. And for some, It'll be another resolved case of murder. While for a few, it'll be the mark of association. But for others, it'll be another sorry case of the growing internet community of friends and networkers and bloggers and hackers and frosters and killers, all plunging to find the space to its diverse objectives. Today, we have identified the numerous vices and dangers such platform portrays, but won't deny the social awareness, enlightenment, and connection it provides, and the limitless freedom of interaction it gives to its users across the globe. It becomes pertinent that we constantly create more awareness to the dangers of these platforms as much as the benefits. Because as we speak, around you people are uploading pictures of events, getting new friends requests, Looking for old friends, keeping up with fashion, and keeping up with businesses. The day of death is better than the day of things. It is better to go to a funeral than a party. We all must die, and every living should think about this.